For this Vegas Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you all how to 3D motion track in Vegas Pro 21. Now, the first thing that we need to do is go into the video effects and search for an effect called Mocker Vegas. You want to apply this onto your video and this will give you the option to launch the Mocker UI. You just want to left click in here and this will launch the Mocker UI in a separate window. Now, starting off with the first tracking, we're going to go to the magnifying tool and we're just going to left click and zoom in to this area right here. We can start tracking by using the pen tool and we're going to get ourselves the four corners on this building right here. Once you're happy with your tracking points, you can right click and we're just going to drag these corners to make the edges nice and pointy. This just makes it more accurate. And then once you're happy with your tracking points, we can also get ourselves a tracking surface and this will allow us to create the 3D perspective. We're going to drag these points and match it with the tracking points. And then once you're happy with your tracking area, we're going to go back onto the magnifying tool, right click, and we're going to double left click on here and call this one house. With this tracking point, we're going to select the perspective so that it tracks the perspective as well. And we're going to start tracking forwards. Once it's finished tracking, we can go onto the keyframes and set this to zero and press enter to go back to the start. And if we have a look at this, you can see it's done a really good job on tracking the perspective of this wall right here. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to also track this chimney area as well for the text to follow. And for this, we're just going to reset this and we're going to hide this layer and we want to lock it as well. The reason for this is because we want the chimney tracking to be separate to the first one and we don't want it to use any any reference keyframes. You then want to go to the shape tool and just get yourself a box around the chimney. From here, we're going to deselect the rotation and the skew since we only want the transform and scale. This will just track the location and the scale as well. We can then go ahead and track forwards and this will track this area as well. Once it's done tracking, we're going to once again, double left click on the layer three and we're just going to call this one text. From here, we're going to go back onto the first keyframe and all we need to do now is unlock the house and we're going to unhide this layer as well. All we need to do now is simply save this and we're just going to close this down and this will automatically apply the changes onto the Mocha Vegas. From here, we can set the auto to off and we're just going to open this up for the tracking data and go to create track. So we're just going to do the text tracking first and we're going to press OK. From here, if you wanted to apply some text, all you need to do is close this down. You want to get yourself a new video track and you want to right click in here and insert text media. In here, we're just going to call this, let's say house 477. We're going to change the font to a Nexa font. We're going to change the scale and also apply a shadow as well. With this text, we're going to close this down and all we need to do now is drag this out to expand it to the same duration as your project. Now, the only problem is this will also create another problem and that is the duration of the text is only five seconds. So what it's done is that it started to loop the text so that it reaches the duration of the video. So what we can do is we can change the duration to 24 and 10 milliseconds. You can then close this down and there we go. It's now fixed this area. And all we need to do now to apply the tracking is to go back onto the video effects. You want to go to apply export and in here, select yourself mocker one. You then want to go to the drop down menu, go to the titles and text and apply the location only. From here, we can close this down, close this one down as well. And as you can see, it's following the tracking points right here. Now, if you wanted to change the scale or the location, you can do so by either going into the event pan slash crop, and this will allow you to change the location. And if you wanted to change the scale, you can do so inside of the text generation right here, and you can change the scale. And now if we have a look at this, you can see it's exactly on this location throughout the whole video. Now, let's say that we also wanted to apply a video or a picture onto this tracking area right here. All we need to do is go back into the video effects. We want to go into the create track 
and swap on over to the house tracking. You then want to go ahead and press OK. Close this down. We want to get ourselves a new video track and get ourselves the picture. You can then drag this out, go back into the video effects, go to apply export. And for this one, we're just going to click on the target area and target this track layer right here. You can then click on picture and picture. And as you can see, it's applied it to both of these layers right here. Now, sometimes it may mess around with your aspect ratio. As you can see, the logo looks very odd and stretched out. In order to fix this, all you need to do is go into the event pan slash crop. And in here, you just want to turn off the aspect ratio and also turn off the aspect ratio in here as well. You can change this to anything that you want. And that is pretty much it. That is how you 3D motion track in Vegas Pro 21.